Now, the final type of questions where we involve indices could be a question where we have simultaneous equations. So, in this case here, we see that we have two equations. Now, let me just call this the first one, and this is the second one. Now, let's start from equation 1. Now, from equation 1, we notice that 64, 4, and 16 all share something in common, which is the base 4, alright? So, 64 can be written as 4 cubed. 4 to the power of y, I'll just leave it as 4 to the power of y. And 16 is actually the same as 4 squared, alright? And what we'll notice is that all of them have the base 4. So, in this case here, I can use the law of the indices, uh, the first law in fact. So, I have 4, 3 plus y. On this side here, I'll use the third law of the indices, so I have 4 to the power 2x. So since I can make the left-hand side and the right-hand side, um, they, they have the same base now, so I can do what we call the equating of the exponents, similar to how we did the solving, right? So in this case here, I'm equating these two together, so I have 3 plus y is equals to 2x, so y is the same as 2x minus 3, and let me call this as equation 3. Alright, now I'm going to just uh, leave it there for a short while and we're going to start looking at equation 2. Now, for equation 2, it's a little bit tricky for this question because again, you will realize um, there is a subtraction here and no matter what we do, we will not be able to combine this using the law of indices into a single term with base 3 and having a single term with base 3 on the left hand side as well. Alright, so what now? What else can we do? Now don't forget, we already have y equals to 2x minus 3. So what we can do is that we can do a substitution here. Alright, I know it seems kind of strange, but we can actually substitute the exponent. Okay, so what we're going to do is that we're going to say sub 3 into 2. Alright, so which means that when we see the power of y, we are going to write it as 2x minus 3. So I've replaced the power of y with the power of 2x minus 3. Now on this side here, I'm just going to write what we had originally. And this is what we currently have. So how do we actually proceed on? Hmm. Again, we see that this is a subtract here. So we can use the law of the indices, the second one, and we can break it down. And same thing goes for this one. We have 3 to the power x over 3 to the power 2. And we have a minus 1. Now let's do a little bit of a, a tidying up. Now if you look right, again this is a subtraction here. And this will bring us back to the time when we did uh, solving. And we had to use a substitution. Ah, this is where we're going to do it again. Alright. So this is 3 to the power x and this is 3 to the power 2x. So what we're going to do is that we're going to rearrange the power 2x into this form here. 3 to the power x bracket, then the power 2 is on the outside. Now 3 cubed is actually 27, so I'm just going to write 27. And for this one here, this is 3 to the power x. And 3 squared is 9. So similar to the previous example, I'm going to say let u be 3 to the power x. Alright, because there's no way for us to simplify. Remember, this is a subtract. So no other option but to use an, uh, to use a substitution. So now that we have actually decided that u is 3 to the power x, this will be u squared. And this is u. Alright? Hmm, doesn't look quite nice because we have a denominator of 27 here and 9 here. Let's, um, why not we just multiply by 27 throughout? Okay, so I multiply by 27, multiply by 27, multiply by 27. So 27 divides out, so I only have u squared left. Right, and for this one here, I have 9 and 27, all right, which is 3. So 4 times 3 will give me 12, and negative 1 times 27 is negative 27. All right, so bringing all the terms to the left hand side, 
this is what we have and again you will have to use your factorization so we will be able to have u and u and we will be able to have 3 and 9 and we're going to be able to see that u minus 3 is 0 so u can be 3 or u minus 9 can be 0 so u can be 9 now remember just like the previous example u is not our uh, solution we actually want to solve for x so u was used to replace 3 to the power x so again we're going to replace it back and 3 is the same as 3 to the power 1 so again comparing the exponents we have x is equals to 1 all right now what about this case here remember this is again 3 to the power x and 9 can be written as 3 squared so we can have it as comparing exponents again x equals to 2 now this is for x don't forget we still have y to consider right and in equation 3 we said that y is the same as 2x minus 3 so what we can do is now we write when x is 1 y is the same as 2 times 1 minus 3 and that will give us negative 1 or when x is 2 y is the same as 2 times 2 minus 3 which will give us 1 so there you have it we have when x is 1 y is negative 1 and when we have x equals to 2 y is actually 1 so this is our simultaneous equation